Hey Collectors, Anthony from Hashesnet here, and today we're taking a look at Transformers Legacy United Doom and Destruction Collection with Wrecker Malleus Minotaurus, which is the hammer, and then Chop Shop, which is on your right, and Barrage, which is on your left. And as you can see in the corners behind them are their mold mates. Uh, technically, they're all mold mates, but kind of like the right side and the left side are cousins, where uh, the left side together are brothers, and the right side together are brothers, if that makes any sense. Uh, it's all about DNA being real close. Before we take a look at the figures, let's just move these guys out of the way. And what came in the box, of course, with the figures was the instructions and the Don't Hurt Yourself paper. So, uh, we'll just show the box real quick. And, uh, yeah, just, uh, nifty stuff here. Yes, yeah, nothing going on too fancy there. Okay, so, as I said, these two are basically clones of these two, more or less, with a little bit of tweaking. And uh, this is the same hammer they've released like twice before, I think, uh, with a little bull head on him. And I don't know how well it'll show up on here, but uh, he comes with two blast effects, which uh, you know, you know, display action. I guess I don't know. Um, not too much going on with this guy here. He's literally a couple of moves away from being. Um, you know something and uh, uh, just separate this here and then You can do it did I just no okay so his head is on a ball joint Which is whatever there we go. Come on It's like very uh Very dumb. Maybe this is going to be in the way. Come on. See, because um, I swear on the other one, this... There we go. Okay. Mix a tail. So, yeah. It's not so special, but just a lot of gray. Supposedly he's a wrecker of some type, so that... And these blast effects don't have a place on him otherwise. Like, where are you going to go now? So, yeah, that really nothing too fancy going on here with him. Got a big old stick up his butt. Uh, this, the stick does come off. Oh, there it goes. And, of course, it tore off a limb. But, uh, as with anything like this, you can usually just put the piece back. And, uh, no harm, no foul. So, let's uh, just put him aside. I'll grab his remaining piece in a little bit. So, I figure I'll start in... Robot or um, insect mode, I guess, for these guys just to do the comparisons. So, these legs here, he actually has, but they're on his gun, they don't have another place for them. So, I thought that was interesting because I'll show you real quick the hands or the arms, you should say, are in different positions underneath. And based on the little tabs in there, you can probably guess that this was pre planned. It's quite obvious that that was the intention all along because it fit in both ways. Uh, one complaint is this is just um, frictioned here. It's like, not, it's not, not going to move, but there's like really nothing holding it in. And I thought maybe the little tabs down there would, but it doesn't. Uh, this piece is bendable uh, because when it's on the chest, uh, then it folds up. But gives you that rhino beetle look, I guess. Uh, as you see, the eyes are supposed to be here, where the eyes are here on this one. And, of course, they have the same front uh, bug legs, but different back legs. Uh, the same general caboose. Of course, he has the uh, DOD symbol, I believe it's called. And, uh, or the Mayhem Squad symbol, I guess. Doom and Destruction is the set name, that's right. So, yeah. You can see the differences here. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's great. Um, in case you were wondering, the only one missing now out of the six is Venom or Venom. Well, they can't do Venom. Well, Hasbro has the license for Venom, but for Marvel, I don't know if they could carry that over to Hasbro uh, for the uh, Transformers. But then here we go with Chop Shop. Uh, so you can see his similarities. This uh, face cover there. Um, let's see. Can Yeah, okay, we'll move these out a little bit. So yeah, they're both adjustable. So you can adjust these. And they have the same guns. Uh, different uh, additional side legs. The other one, this one doesn't have. 
Uh, so it, it makes a little bit of a difference here. Uh, I believe these are supposed to be his eyes in this mode. Um, I actually don't know where his eyes are. But uh, you can see the similarities. The arms even map the same way, so no, no real difference there. You can see the uh, these extra legs peg in there. Uh, I Yeah, all of them could be converted with the extra legs in place. So, uh, But they do have the same undergun. I don't know what we call this thing, but uh, yeah. So we'll put him back. Uh, since I have him, we might as well convert him. So I'm going to take these off. Uh, these blasters are the same blasters as he has. Uh, they're just ugly brown color. Bleh. Um, they're exactly the same. Uh, so first thing, disconnect the arms. Uh, and then uh, the legs are kind of attached to here with some tabs, so you have to stretch a little bit. Uh, but it's not that difficult. You just undo it. And uh, then you make sure that these stay up because you have to do it one more time. And then, once you have that done, you can close these panels. Oops, do I have it already flush? Hold on. There you go. And then move the feet up. And uh, that is it for the legs. Uh, this piece here, um, they fold in like this, but that is the back. Um, you can take this off if you want. I just keep it there. It's easier for me. Uh, fold these down. Uh, these pieces have to come up, and they rotate uh, 90 degrees. Uh, here we go. It snaps into place. Same here. As you see, uh, turn the waist 90 degrees. Uh, pull his hands out. And uh, that is it. There's really nothing more to him. Um, at this point, I guess, if you're collecting this set, it is because you're collecting all the Insecticons, or you really like the Mayhem Squad, or whatever they're called. And, uh, yeah, so let's take a closer look at him. We got a nice bug face going on there. Yeah, he's decent. He's just a lot of brown and orange. Perfect for Halloween. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, uh, this piece uh, does come off. And, of course, you can plug it into the hand if you want. I keep it there. I think it looks cool. It's uh, I think it's the missile launcher. Or one of those pod launcher. You know, whatever the whatever they call those things. But, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Put him over here. And then, of course, we get to this one here. The other legs that are on the first one that aren't going on him are attached to this gun. They are very simple. So, so Barrage has extra pieces. Um, it, it helps kind of offset a little bit of the cost for this pack because I don't think this is worth $10. Anyway. Um, so, <laughs> I was about to do something wrong. Uh, pull the legs out now the uh or sorry say the arms from the legs hold the panel piece here and pop them out to the side here because they pegged in uh with this piece and this piece or sorry is it that piece and piece oh uh, no this piece and that piece there's a piece here and a tab there um yeah this tab here and that tab over here okay so yeah uh the legs are pretty much the same thing just pull them out straighten them up you would do this and then you can close the top once you have them in place, fold out the toes, and we're already pretty much halfway done. Unfold the le uh, legs, unfold the arms, rotate the waist. Oh wait, did we backwards? Oh, we're backwards, that's right. He doesn't rotate his waist. Uh, fold the chest in. Uh, this one has like a little stud of, this is friction based too, is so it using these same two pieces, weird. Um, it's interesting how they got such different... I mean, there's common looks to them. But, I mean, clearly there's differences to them. That, um... Which is just, you know, having to use some of the previous molds to get them to look different. But, uh... Yeah, here is what he looks like. A bug face. I kind of like the way this folds up on here. I, I can't lie, but it's just... It's not clipped in really I don't I mean it's barely friction it's just I don't know that, that's probably the weakness on this particular version here's his back so yeah decent enough um, because on him and I'll show you real quick that's his front so so yeah it, it made it different enough it's just this weird hollow bit now over here 
I guess this is supposed to throw you off, like distract you from the hollow bit. I mean, they're fine. Um, he's fine. I mean, whatever. Uh, it's a it's a fine set. I'm just looking forward to Venom whenever he comes out. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on these items. Did you get them? And how was your experience with them? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.